Hello Palpation Nation and welcome to the vlog. I got a new camera. The old camera broke. Do you like it? Can you tell the difference? I feel like I, I haven't edited anything yet with this camera. This is a Canon G7X uh, Mark II. I did my first vlogging camera, well that was my iPhone. My second vlogging camera was a Canon G7X Mark I and whenever I see footage from that sometimes I go, oh I miss you. My last Sony was all right. It was a little cheaper than this camera, but it seemed to be fairly sturdy and I really liked how fast when you press the on button you could be recording within seconds. So I never missed anything. Uh, but then all of a sudden the Sony display screen started going purple and green and now the display screen just goes white. So like the display screen, you see that thing? Yeah, that thing's not working. I think when I press record on it, it does start to work, but you can't, but when you can't see anything in the viewfinder, it is impossible. So this is vlog camera number four, including my phone, which I lost. What does that button do? Okay, today we are heading out to, actually, to do some videography. I'm heading to a feedlot to put together some training videos for that. So I will be doing cattle handling one, and then I am off to do some preg testing, just six animals, and just six cows. Six cows. And then... Okay, I'm all finished the training videos. I've been working on a set of training videos, how to give an IM injection, subcutaneous injection, how to castrate. Today was all about cattle handling, uh, putting together a set of videos. I'll put most of them on YouTube, just kind of as a, they might be a little bit boring, but I think it's good information. And what I really like is that I'm using some vlog skills in my veterinary medicine, using it for consulting and training. It's a big part of my job, so I might as well use it, right? I remember when we tried to make some training videos, I think it was like four years ago now, I, I had no skills, no skills at all. Sometimes I wonder how much stuff do I use on my day-to-day -day that I actually learned in vet school, like stuff that I've learned since. I'd probably say it's about 10%. 
10% of what I learned in vet school is the stuff that I do on a routine basis. And that doesn't necessarily mean like veterinary medicine related, but just like client interaction, communication, training, uh, how to talk to people, how to talk to producers, stuff like that. I would say that's like the vast majority is just being able to effectively communicate and then a little 10% is just the right information, which I get right at least 10% of the time. Okay, now I have a preg test to do, a very small preg test. I'm not allowed to film at this place, so I will not be filming for it. But then after that, I have a post-mortem, and that's about it. Look, Finn, it's another goat. Look, here it comes. It's a white-tailed goat. Oh, it's going to be so sweet. I'll get the drone up, and we'll follow that deer. still broken. Ooh. Oh, I'm so full. So full. Okay, well, I'll finish my prank test. And then I had lunch at the Hunter Eye Colony and I had roast beef with gravy and I think four or five buns and vegetables and two glasses of raw milk. <coughs> Jam. <sighs> now I'm off to the postmortems. I just, I'm so full. Just, just, gonna, just gonna do my belt. It's like a turkey dinner every dinner. Just joking, I see another goat. I see another goat up on the road. Goats a goat, but no goats, Joe. Oh, he's going right. Oh, there's more goats. There's lots of goats. One postmortem to do. It looks a little stanky. That's always a thing with Monday postmortems, is sometimes I died on Saturday, and you never really know, but. It looks like some of his intestines have already leaked out of his... and I are at our last call today. This is a cow that was imported from the US. She came into Canada a few weeks ago, was in apparent healthy condition, and now she was found dead out of pasture. So I'm gonna do a post-mortem and check her out, see what exactly is going on. We just drove through a crazy storm. It's definitely got a lot lighter now, so I shouldn't get too soaked before I do this one. And I will show you guys if I find any fun pathology. But she might be too rough. Another one. Another one. Go. Go. And I want to hear all the way. <laughs> <laughs> End of the day, I'm just doing some errands right now. I thought I would take this moment to do an edition of Mail Time. I haven't done Mail Time for a while and I've been saving stuff that you guys send me and I think it's time. This is for my buddy Ahmed. Ahmed is like 
a veterinary device magician wizard. He's a geek. Anyways, Ahmed sent me this to try out. I don't know where he got it from, but it is a portable ultrasound that connects to your phone. So this is transmitting to my phone and in real time, it needs to be wet a little bit. In real time, you can actually see my jugular. I need to lay off the caffeine. I'll put the link to Ahmed's company in the description below. This is gonna be great for abscesses, guys. So good for a little app. I shouldn't have licked. Next up was a card. This card is from Tom Canace. Canace, maybe the case silent. Tom Nace, my what balance is all off. Tom Nace, Canace, he sent me my very own donation. Here, can you see that? $100. He sent me a $100 check for the drone. That is so incredibly humbling that somebody would take the time and their own resources to help support the vlog, and I'm extremely appreciative of that. Thank you so much, Tom. This came in the mail the other day. It is a book of beautiful cows. Look at all these beauties. This book is from, oh no. Oh, I found it. A nice little note from Patricia. She said, I thought you would like this little book on your shelf. Love the vlogs and what you do and the beautiful cows. Kind regards, Patricia Christie. Thank you so much, Patricia. Look at this book. It's amazing. That's the Highland. And last but not least, I need a knife. I should try doing a postmortem with this one day. But I can. I'm gonna do it. The mini Leatherman postmortem challenge. Wink. Sorry, Mark. It's been a fun ride. What is this? This is this is from the Canadian Vet Med Association, and they are having an Animal Health Week. So this is Animal Welfare, safeguarding the five animal freedoms, and that's their little logo. So check out the CVMA Animal Health Week coming at you in October. Okay, that's it. That's mail time. Sponsored by Bullringer. I can't get these pharma companies off of my head. Ooh, they're sneaky little devils, aren't they? Another one, and another one. 